and welcome back to NW Sportscast. Today we're going to be going over our NFL predictions as well as some hot takes. Um, we I've already done our power rankings on Tuesday. Me and Levi did that. Um, so go check those out if you want to. And yeah, let's get into it. So let's we'll right. start with our predictions. All right, kicking us off, we got the Thursday night football game, which is currently playing as we speak. Well, it's I'm gonna go ahead and Packers against the Forty Nine. So I don't even know that who's. I'm gonna go ahead and predict the Packers. We're not gonna predict that because by the time it gets out, we're, well, I'll just say know. I predicted the Forty Nine. As of now, it's a uh, thirty. As of now, it's thirty-one to three. So I'm pretty sure it's Packers. So yeah, we're not gonna predict this. I pick Packers. But, yeah, Packers looking like they're gonna win. Thirty-one three with nine minutes left. The Forty Nine is gonna absolutely shut down. Yeah. Forty Nine is not that good. Anymore. Yeah. Uh, well, it's because of their defense. Injuries. Uh, it's okay, of their injuries. so first game. All right, next game we got the Texans and the Jaguars. Jacksonville is a home team. They're going to be starting rookie Jake Lutman. They benched Gardner? They injured Gardner. Oh, yeah, he already sprinkled, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. I got Texans. I got Texans. Obviously, I'm going to go with Jacksonville here. The Texans are going to do with the Falcons or some, no, who was it last year? Some team that, you know, they're going to turn the season around and end up like doing 7-9 or something like that, but not that good. Texans winning this one. I feel like the Colts a couple years ago. I'm you know, going Jaguars. And end up making the playoffs. Like we're set or whatever. Mm-hmm. All right. Next game we got Giants at Washington. Ooh, that is a bad game. Wow. I got that's the Washington game. football team. That's a division game. Ga- that's a division implying game. Is Kyle Allen still the starter? Kyle really? Allen is still the starter. Yes. Right. Um. um well, they could have benched him for they, Smith. No, they're not. They don't want Alex. They don't want Kyle Allen. Because Pat Haskins too should be pretty. He should be their starter. Allen has yeah. the better. But I, I got. I got the Washington football team. Me too. Me too. Giants won the first game. Washington team will get revenge here. I have the uh, yeah. I'm gonna put the Giants to win this because I don't know. I think the Giants have been playing better. Their defense has been looked pretty good. They've been in close games. This can't win. They've been in a lot of close games. You know, Jones has 15 turnovers, only behind Carson Wentz for most of the league this year. So I think they're gonna pick up a win. Um, yeah. So yeah, Giants are gonna All get right. the win. Next game, Baltimore at Indianapolis. Ooh, That's another that good game. Ravens coming off a tough loss. I'll go for the Ravens here. I'm taking Ravens That's too. Back. Tough loss from the Ravens. Indianapolis is not good enough to be 6-2. Pick the Colts. Pick them. I'm going to pick the Colts. You saw Philip Rivers get, put up 41 points last week with his with a good defense. If they can do okay against the Ravens, then we'll see what happens. So, yeah, yeah. So Next up, we got Detroit at sure. Minnesota. Uh, oh, no, yeah. So I have the Ravens. Let's just quickly touch on that. Um, do you think the Ravens – have a chance at beating the Steelers for the division. Oh, yeah, I think they do. Yeah. They just need to beat the Steelers next time they play. Which was doable. Yeah, they, I mean, yeah. The Ravens outgained the Steelers. I think that could be like a 12-4 and four winner, or maybe even 13-3 the division. That's where they're going to end up yeah. being. So it's just going to come down to their next game and how many games they lose besides yeah. the Steelers. Yeah, my current predictions have a 12-4 and four tie with the Ravens. Steelers are finally getting respect, and they're contenders. Well, yeah, contender. I mean, you can't be 8-0 and not having They're a Super Bowl contender, not yeah. even just... Oh, yeah. yeah, they're definitely Super Bowl contenders. Yeah. I, I still think the Ravens are Super Bowl contenders. I still think the Chiefs are, the Chiefs are easily make. I think the Chiefs are the best team in the I mean, I think Chiefs beat the Ravens. Like I have nine, the Chiefs going 15-1. You so. know, I think the Chiefs beat the Ravens like 19 times out of 20, yeah. honestly. But I think the Steelers have a better chance than the Ravens do at beating the, um, the Chiefs. Chiefs, okay. Chiefs yeah. yeah. All right. All right, next up we got Detroit at Minnesota. I got the Vikings here. Yeah, Let's go. This is not a bad game. I've, the Viking too. Two averagey or below averagey teams. Well, I'm gonna yeah. take the Vikings just because Dalvin Cook is looking like the best running back in the league. The Vikings just have more firepower. La- last week, and the Vikings looked so good. Dalvin but- Cook is top three receiver or top three running back this year, so I think the Vikings will win this one. All right, then we get Chicago Wait, at you Tennessee. Have I had the Vikings as well. Okay. We got Chicago at Tennessee. This is another interesting game. The Bears, we still don't know what they fully are. Mm-hmm. They almost beat the Saints last week, mm-hmm. so like I'm not they're they're a good team, but I'm gonna take the Titans. I'm gonna take the Titans as well. They've lost two in a row. Titans can't lose three in a row. I don't think they're gonna. They so can. the Bears have also lost two in a row. So whoever loses this is gonna have lost three straight, which is not a spot you want to be at. All right, next we got Carolina at Kansas City. Do we even have to talk about this game? Um, this is the Chiefs. Oh, I oh the last prediction I didn't think prediction. Oh, the Tennessee Chicago. What Tennessee, you, what you Tennessee Chicago. I'm gonna get Chicago bounce back. All right. All right. For me, uh, I, I'm going Tennessee. Tennessee so. as well. Yeah. All right. Then we get uh, Carolina at Kansas City. Do we have to talk about this game? I think I don't know. Kansas City it lost could be to the Raiders. McCaffrey is back this week. Am I correct? Oh, he may. Be. They could have a little bit of a foresight, you know. Never this could know. be an interesting game, but maybe I'm not, maybe I'm wrong. But I think the Chiefs are still in this one. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm going to pick the Chiefs, but I want to, I mean, I'd be surprised, but um, Christian McCaffrey's coming back. We're Chiefs, not sure. The Chiefs yeah, might, it looks like he is the Chiefs playing might have another trap game. Yeah. Um, yeah, you never right. know. Yeah, and, and the Chiefs, week 10, Kansas City has a bye, so this will not be a trap game. I can confirm that it is not a trap game for Kansas City. All right. Mm-hmm. But who knows? Maybe it's just not a trap game and they lose. I don't know. Next, we got Seattle at Buffalo. This is a, maybe the best game of the week. Um, I think it is the best game of the week. I'm going to have Hogtown Seahawks. Yeah, I got the Seahawks. I'm choosing the Buffalo Bills. Uh, yeah. Stephon Diggs is making Allen look good. Allen's not throwing the ball as well anymore. I mean, he's still running fine. He has great defense. But the Bills have had four bad games after four good games. Yeah. I think the Bills will get back. Allen is not as good as we thought he was. His arm's not. He's not. He's not as good of a passer. Stephon well, Diggs is an insane receiver. That so I'm not let's sure. Talk a little Who's going to guard Diggs? Diggs? Who's, who's guarding sports, Diggs? Guys. Um, I don't know because I don't think Shaq Griffin's going to play. He's not. No. It doesn't look like oh it. Gosh. I don't know what the gonna, trends are. I thought he was going to play. Well, I don't know. It'd probably be Dunbar. Yeah, I don't think Dunbar can guard him that well, but it'll be a, probably a high-scoring game. Is Dunbar playing? Yeah. Yeah, high-scoring game. Griffin see, is, uh, I don't know. There's no news on him. Yeah, he's going to play. He had a concussion. And, uh, no, he also had a hamstring injury. Yeah. And the concussion, who knows? That I mean, I think we're going to get this win because, you know, we have Dunlop, we have Adams. We're going yeah, to get some key help. pieces back. Not I, just saw, I saw a report that Vic Beasley was, like, waived by the Falcons. And the Seahawks are a contender to sign him. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. But Adams is huge. Adams is back now, too. I yeah. mean, I think it's bigger than Carlos Dunlop coming back. And I feel like, feel like people oh, aren't making that big of a deal. But I mean, people are. He's only played, like, two games. And, you know, he's going to come back. This is, like, the first time our secondary is going to be a full game. Uh-huh. Actually, I guess Shaquille's And we just had our best defensive game of the season, too. Now we're getting all these pieces back. Yeah, Shaquille Griffin, so, unfortunately, we're not going to see them play together. But we need some chemistry to start, you know, happening. I think Shaquille's and, playing, but I'm not okay. <laughs> Shaquille might not be playing. He'll probably split snaps if he is playing. Though. Yeah. I'm guessing. Shaquille Griffin? Shaquille Griffin. The guy that had the concussion or the hamstring. Yes. I'm pretty sure he's playing. And I'm pretty sure he might yeah, not but be playing. He might be splitting. Even if he does play. play. He would yeah. be the yeah. number one corner. If he's playing, he's a number one corner. Yeah, but he wouldn't play every snap. When you have hamstring issues, you wouldn't play every snap. Doubt not me. just that. Um, Did you guys see Reed looked really good last week? Did you guys see that? Reed, um, he was the backup for. Who was he backup for? Oh, the for? corner or the safety? No. Yes, he was the secondary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, twenty nine. Get a pick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's he good. good. No, but he was the backup for somebody. I think they're coming back though. Who's he the backup for? Shaq, I think he's playing corner. Oh, maybe I don't know. So yeah. Okay, next we go. All right, we got Denver at Atlanta. Oh, uh, that's another bad game. Uh, I got Atlanta. Yeah, I'm going home team again here, Atlanta. Once again, Atlanta's one of those teams that has so many weapons, they just can't figure out how to win on defense. So This, this game is probably, if the Broncos lose this game, their their season is probably over as far as playoff hopes. If they win, they would be 4-4. Four and four, so I, mean, they I just don't chance. get how you have two top 10 receivers, a t- top 10 questionably running back, a, good Q- a pretty good QB. And then terrible defense. And I mean, they have a top ten offense. They just can't have. They just yeah. have a terrible I mean, defense. I want you lock. Lock. I want you lock to play well, but I'm gonna go with Atlanta in this one yeah. just because I like Todd Gurley and Julio. Yeah, when, I was, and when I was my team at the start of the year, I kind of like Matt, it. Matt Ryan. I kind of like Atlanta. Um, Matt I, Ryan. I'm has, Falcons. Matt Ryan has regressed from the yeah. past couple of years, but he's still better than Drew Lock. I mean, really. Um, I mean, really, he's been playing. Yeah, he's he's not been playing. He's one of the worst veteran quarterbacks this year, if not the worst. And he's still better than Drew Locke. Not as long better than Drew Locke, yeah. Better than Drew Locke. That's, that's what I mean. I don't. I, I hope the hope Denver wins. Hope Falcons win. I don't think it's gonna happen. <coughs> Next, we got Oakland to L.A. This is a good game. Uh, obviously, L.A. looking for a win if they can ever get one. I don't know if they ever will. I'm going to Oakland. Um, Oakland at who? Oakland at L.A. Chargers. Chargers, yeah, I'm going Oakland. Or yeah, not Oakland good. anymore, Las Vegas, I'm sorry. Las yeah, this Vegas. is the Raiders for sure. Yeah, I'm going Raiders. Raiders. It's because Chargers have looked pretty good, but they, they know they've been choking. Raiders are going to go to 500 to win over the Chiefs. They're going to be looking like a good wild card contender in the AFC. Yeah. And Justin Herbert's been choking in some games, but... Oh, there's another... Woo-hoo! 
Yeah. Ankle breaker, touchdown, touchdown Niners. Niners yeah. Yeah. Richie James. But yeah, yeah the Raiders. Um, the Raiders have a chance. I feel like if they sneak into the playoffs. Oh yeah, to, I think Raiders are making the to ruin some teams' chances. Um, They're so scrappy. Well. I think they could be. A, I think they could be a Titans type of team like last year. Mm-hmm. Um, how the Titans made a push into but, the playoffs. But I would say this: the Raiders are not a good defensive team. Did you just say they're good? they have allowed, okay, they have allowed 24 points on offense in okay, all the Well, they allowed games. six that was That was A, that was against the Browns without oh, OJ oh, yes. and without Nick Chubb. And in really, really bad weather. weather. But missing two of their best weapons. And, but Chubb's been and out for like seven games. Chubb's right. been out for like four straight. Yeah, they're they're putting out 40 plus points. Yes, I would agree with that. Well, yes. what type of weather and do you think OBJ had like two touchdowns all year, so I really... Okay, but still, when you're missing your top receiver... Chances are your offense is going to be a little bit worse. And when the weather is as terrible as it was in that game. In the next couple of months, though, I mean, that's the type of game. When you refuse to throw to your other good receiver who has no touchdowns all year. You know, of... Derek Carr looking really good. Um, not really good, but he's looking pretty good. He, he look, yeah. He's looking good enough to, yeah. you know, um, help lead a little bit of a playoff yeah. run. And you've seen it. They've beaten the Chiefs. Like, I know that was a little bit of a... Maybe the Chiefs weren't ready for them yet. They were kind of overlooking to the Bills game or something along those lines. But you have to give them some credit for beating the Chiefs. And yeah. if they can beat the Chiefs, they can beat anyone. So. All right. What game do you have next? All right. Next up is Miami at Arizona. Oh. I think the Dolphins. I'm going to go Arizona. Okay, listen. The Dolphins are going to beat every team in the West besides the Seahawks. Okay. I'm going Dolphins here. Dolphins defense. I got to say. Dolphins are ruining the NFC West's. Non divisional record or non conference record. Dolphins records. defense is really good. I yeah. think that it is probably unlikely the Dolphins win. I mean, Arizona is looks really coming good. Coming off a bye, the they're feeling their win over the. They're, they're getting cocky coming off a bye week. They're super ready. They probably just chilled all week after a good win over the not, Seahawks. They came back this week. They yeah. probably had some game plan. No, they, oh, this week obviously they did. But last week they probably took a week off. That's what you usually do in a yeah, bye. That's a smart Especially thing. after a That'll good win, them. though. That'll help them. And they're feeling cocky, confident, and they're going to come out and they're going to lose to the Dolphins. See, I think it's the opposite. I don't think they're feeling cocky or confident at all. Well, you, I have, think, you have a I young Kyler that, Murray, a young I defense. I think they're looking I think that, silly veterans, no, D-Hop, but, no, but the characters. No, I get it. I think they feel good about where they are as a team, but I don't think they feel cocky going into this game. A young head Dolphins, coach. The she's Dolphins, probably hyping them the up. The Dolphins are clearly a good team as you look at them, so I don't think they're feeling cocky at all. I think they're looking like Dolphins this is a game defense they have to win. has allowed the least points in the league. Two had a, two had a second least. I think the Ravens may have allowed. Uh, maybe. Two had no, a very after last made, week. Yeah, two had, had a very bleh first game. Like well, well eighty six yards and one touchdown. Dolphins are at like, least top two 12, uh, defensive in points wise, which is I got the Dolphins. It's not the matter. And you have to. That was one of the best defensive games I've ever seen. Like just the the fact that they held um, Sean McVay's offense to six points and got fourteen points off of turnovers, etc. Um, yeah, Tua had a bad game and they destroyed. Not a bad them. game, just a very nothing game. He just didn't really do much. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, he had what a bad game. Bad? How did he have a? He threw the ball like threw, eighteen he, times. Yeah, and he had 90, 90 yards. So yeah, and he had like twelve for eighteen with ninety yards. That's and no, it was like down. ten for eighteen. No, it wasn't. It was more than that. I'm pretty sure it was. He missed like six passes. No, he was twelve for twenty-two. Twelve for twenty-two. Okay, still. Okay, he so missed ten he passes. Just over fifty percent. It's not bad though. Without with one touchdown. Yeah, he did so he didn't really do much. And the one touchdown yeah. was because of the. He didn't look impressive. No, he didn't look impressive. He just looked like yeah, yeah. average. He, yeah, I mean he, he looked, looked like not what, bad though. He looked, he looked like, like what like you expect. Uh, yeah, looked, well, yeah. Yeah, but I just I guess I've just gotten spoiled from Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert. He did not look as good as those guys in my opinion. Yeah, it was his first game. So. Yeah, but do you remember Justin Herbert's first game? He almost beat the Chiefs. Yeah. So I mean. All right. Next up, we got the. Steelers at Dallas. I'm going Steelers. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Thank you. Uh, Dallas is starting Garrett Gilbert yeah, or Cooper Rush. This is the, easy, this is the easiest game of the week. I don't even know this is a terrible game. game. Knowing, um, knowing NBC, it's I the mean, game. This, night game. Give the ball to Zeke. No, it's please. not the night game. I mean, I have Zeke on my fantasy team, and he's gotten nothing. I feel, it feels like he's like learned how to stop running the football. Um, yeah. Well, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, yeah, so Cowboys don't even know who they're starting, but it's not going to be Ben DiNucci. Why? It, it will be... It will okay, either the be night, Cooper the night Rush game is this game or it will be Garrett Gilbert. But why, though? Because they don't want DiNucci. They don't think he's good enough. Okay, good for DiNucci. Cooper Rush was a higher draft pick, but they, they chose DiNucci over him in training camp this year. Hmm. Garrett Gilbert used to be a starter 
but that was like eight years ago, so All right. I don't know. Next game. Next we got Sunday Night Football Saints at Buccaneers. This is a great game. Saints Bucks. Best game of the week. Yeah, I'm going to New Orleans. Bills game's good. Game. Best game of the week. New Brady vs. Breeze. Divisional matchup. We've already seen it. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah but we've already seen we it. We saw the no, all I'm the saying is we've already, bucks. All I'm saying is we've already seen it. Yeah, but now we get the more mature buff with AB. Who yeah, is I, I get that, but we haven't Brady seen the Bills on point. Series. I think Antonio Brown is really the, no, the this wild is the card in this game. Um, I really way think the Tampa Bay better. is not going to win this one. Yes, it's with New Orleans. If I'm, a, if I'm a neutral NFL fan and I don't like any team I just know about the NFL, I'm watching. I'm sitting down, spending three hours watching this game. This yeah, because it's on Sunday night. If, even if, if it wasn't Sunday night, if it was switched around, I'm sitting down and I'm watching this game. I don't know. Uh, I, I do know, but okay. Yeah, because uh, yeah, because everyone else is hyping up that game, so of course you're gonna watch it. Yeah, but like the yeah. news is feeding just you. Just looking in- at that game. The news is feeding you information, though. That's the just, best game. You're of just week. using your Seahawks. So you're, you're, you're no, you're just like I'm everybody a else. Fan. Of course, I think you're that just game. like everybody else in the U.S. Oh, do it, do it, do it. Of course, I would rather watch the Seahawks. They literally game. say it's the game of the really, week. Sunday football is not the game of the week. The game of the week is the one. Is so the what's one the game of the week? It would probably be Steelers Cowboys. Game of the week, I'm assuming, is gonna be Steelers Cowboys. Yeah. I don't know. They might make it. Like, <laughs> there really isn't a good game of the week. They ah. could make it Hawks Bills, honestly. No, it's a ten o'clock. Game. Yeah, they're both no, good games. No, ten o'clock so. games can be game no, of the week. No, there's never a ten o'clock game that's game of the week. Game of the week. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I, even me now. It's a better game is Saints Bucks, but of course I'm rather watching my Seahawks. Yeah. Okay. Saints Bucks. Official prediction. I'm going to have the Bucks beating the Saints. Also, because Brady. Thirty-five. 31. Also because Brady has one had a breeze and touchdown, so this is gonna be a back and forth breaking yeah. the record game yeah, too. That's that'll be fun to watch. 35-31. What do you have? 35-31 Bucks. Yeah. 38-31 Saints. Uh, wait, so you know the Saints win? Yeah, that's it's funny. I think the Saints are gonna run away with that division. I don't I know. know I don't know what I don't know what the score will be, but I, I got the Saints winning. making an argument for the Bucks winning. No, I said Saints oh. are gonna be, maybe get the one seed. The Bucks so are I have get the Bucks winning. winning 35 Bucks are gonna 31. get the first wild card. I said. What do you have, Levi? I got the Saints winning. I don't know what score though. Saints for sure. Not for sure. Not for sure. But Saints. Maybe like. For sure. Not for sure. Thirty to twenty six, maybe. I mean, uh, close Bucks, games for Bucks all of us. pretty good. We also have one score. The games. Saints have barely beaten. Uh, the yeah. Michael Thomas is back, but AB's for the Bucks. They're about, maybe even out. And have you seen Michael? T- have you seen that AB's looking pretty good? Oh, I know he's looking fine. Contrary but. to your. He hasn't played in a year. I know. I just don't think he's going to be as good as you think he's going to be. You think yeah. he's going to be like an average? And I think to he's going to be as good above average receiver. Okay. Which is an above average. And even if he's still good, I wouldn't want to jump on the Seahawks. Look, I'm, I'm, still, not, I'm, jumping, I'm not jumping on the AB train. I think he's going to be the third best receiver. I'm still sticking with that, though. I wouldn't want him on the Seahawks, even if he was good for the Bucks. Okay. I'm not switching on my list. All right. And for Wait, the, what do you have score, for, Levi? Sorry? I don't know what the score will be, but I'm going to So you have Saints? Saints. Yeah. Why do you have the Saints? Because I just I think that uh, New Orleans Saints. is a more complete team. Man, Tampa Bay, in my opinion, is the most complete team in the NFL. I I would disagree with that. I, would I mean, as far as their defense I think their, is great, their run game, their run game is questionable. Their quarterback is questionable. What do you mean their run game is questionable? Have you looked at the numbers? Well, well, some said, some uh, days they Ronald do Jones good, and seven, some games they do bad. The last six games, Tom Jones just played over 100 yards. Really? Yep. Huh. Fournette did terrible last game. He was terrible. Yeah, but I didn't see Ronald Jones getting into 100 yards. Yeah, yeah, okay. He's so, injured. Yeah, is he, is he playing against the Saints? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. Let's look it up. I think they probably are the most complete team in the NFL. The Saints defense is cheap. They, I don't know. The Saints defense is still, just as good, though. Honestly, I still don't trust Brady. I mean, he forgot what down it was against well, the Bears. You're still bringing it up. Yeah, you can't can use that. I agree. You I, can't I use can't. that. I can't How can you? Everyone has mistakes in life. He made a mistake after being in the NFL well, for like 20 years. What well, he could make it again, you know what? I don't know. Yeah, but so, but the, you can say like the same argument. Like, oh, Drew Brees can't throw the ball 40 yards down the field, you know? Yeah, but at least Drew Brees is, seems like he has more football knowledge. You're, because of one play. And it's wow. not like it was make or break. Like, he still gave the receiver a chance. Like Yeah, but he threw the ball 16 yards on fourth and... or No, even more than 16 yards on fourth and five. Yeah, it wasn't a good play, but... No, it was a dumb play. I would rather have the once-in-20-year mistake than someone who can't throw the ball 40 yards down the field. If we're making accusations here. Well, I mean, I would rather have the guy who is yeah, well, a better, yeah, a better well, overall I mean, it, QB, which I, I would say is Drew No, Bruce. not right now. Drew All right, what's, the, what's the Monday game? What's the, what's All right, the Monday, Monday night, do we need to talk about this? It's the Jets, so Jets, Patriots. Patriots are on the road. Yeah, I have Patriots. Potentially a loss. I got the Jets. I don't know. Seth thinks the Jets win. I'm going to go. suck. I'm going to go Pats, but it'll be pretty close. Newton's Pats, job is so on the line. Back and forth on this game. Patriots are going to destroy the Jets. They're going to win 35-0. to 
um, Patriots are going to go back in schedule, and they're going to win that division. You heard it here first. What are you smoking? No, no, no. no. What are you smoking? All right, well, speaking of what are you smoking, let's get on to our hot takes. Uh, I'm just saying, um, the Patriots suck. So, can I, let's really quickly talk about, uh, so yeah, so that's our thing. The future is done. I don't think the dance is over. I think they're retooling. No. I think it's just a hiatus. A quick year lapse. You feel me? Yeah. So what? It'll what's be a what's the next year, year going to be then? What's next year going to be? Next year, yeah, the next, Dolphins next are going to win. wants out. Next year, the Dolphins are going to win the NFC East. Gilmore wants after, out already. After that, the Patriots are going to be back. Gilmore already season. wants out. They just couldn't find a trade for him. Yeah, yeah. They're not going to They're not going to go. Dolphins looking like they're there to stay, and so is the Bills. It so. looks to me like the Bills are a fraud. They're going to be good for a couple years, but in the end... When I look at them, I don't think Bills are I, 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 the when I look at them though, I see the Dolphins have done a much better job in their rebuild than the Bills and the Jets. Really? So I think in the Bills in the D is just the Dolphins D are better. 